Hello friends! The Alabama program received a notable distinction with the announcement made on Monday by the College Football Hall of Fame in Atlanta, Georgia. Have you seen it? Three iconic figures from the Crimson Tide, including the renowned coach Nick Saban, were included in the voting for the 2025 College Football Hall of Fame. Mark Ingram and Chris Samuels joined Saban on the list of nominees. Ingram joined Alabama as a running back during Saban's first major recruiting class in 2008. His remarkable journey includes winning the Heisman Memorial Trophy in 2009, becoming the first recipient of this award in the program's history. With 1,658 rushing yards and 20 touchdowns, Ingram played a vital role in securing the first Southeastern Conference Championship and the first BCS National Championship under Saban's tutelage. His exceptional performance earned him a slew of honors, including selection to the All-SEC First Team, recognition as a unanimous All-American, as well as being named SEC Co-Offensive Player of the Year and Sporting News Player of the Year in 2009. Ingram ranks as the seventh leading rusher in school history in career yards, 3,261, and second in touchdowns, 42. Meanwhile, Chris Samuels, a standout offensive tackle, left his mark on Alabama football history. Recognized for his abilities in opening lanes for running backs like Sean Alexander and protecting the quarterback, Samuels was a crucial element on the offensive line. His standout 1999 season included the notable feat of not allowing a single quarterback pressure, recording an impressive 91 knockdown blocks. Samuels received numerous accolades, including selection to the All-SEC First Team, the unanimous All-American title, as well as winning the Outland Trophy and the Jacobs Blocking Trophy in 1999. His contribution was instrumental in leading the Crimson Tide to the SEC title, overcoming the Florida Gators. Meanwhile, Nick Saban has stood out as one of the most efficient coaches in Alabama history. During his 17 seasons at the helm of the Crimson Tide, 2007-2023, he established an unparalleled standard of excellence, shaping the institution as a benchmark in college football. Under his leadership, Alabama won six national championships, nine SEC titles, and produced four Heisman Trophy winners. Nick Saban also led the Crimson Tide to eight appearances in the college football playoffs, in addition to recruiting several elite recruiting classes. His legacy is further underscored by the over 100 players he has developed and sent to the National Football League. In addition to his on-field achievements, Saban has been recognized four times as SEC Coach of the Year at Alabama, accumulating a host of other awards throughout his career. Currently, he shares his knowledge with ESPN, serving as an analyst, while continuing to play a key role in the Tide program. Both he and Ingram now share their insights as analysts on two different networks, demonstrating the continuity of their influence in the world of American football. Talking about Alabama's recruitment now. A promising talent is catching attention in the college football scene, and his name is Brock Harris. Hailing from Pineview High School in St. George, Utah, Harris has already garnered the interest of top recruiting sites as a four-star prospect for the class of 2026. His performance during a recent camp in Tuscaloosa, his second visit to the University of Alabama campus, didn't go unnoticed by the Crimson Tide's new coaching staff, who have been closely monitoring several athletes, as we've been discussing here on the channel. Under the guidance of Kalen DeBoer, Harris showcased impressive skills, resulting in a renewed offer to join the Alabama team. It was really good, shared Harris with Touchdown Alabama describing his experience during the training. They were really intense, and it was a good workout, for sure. The initial offer came last summer when Nick Saban recognized Harris's potential during his first camp at Alabama. Now, with DeBoer's offer added to the mix, Harris sees the Crimson Tide as a strong contender on his list. They'll definitely be in there when I get to the top 10, Harris stated, emphasizing his consideration for the program. I haven't really thought about trimming my list down much. But it's Alabama, so they'll be heavily considered. I like Coach DeBoer, Coach Sheridan, and Coach Ellis. They're really good coaches. 
Harris shines in contested catch situations, notable for his ability to stay upright after contact. His performance in the 2023 football season, accumulating 665 yards and eight touchdowns on 55 receptions, showcases his ability to make a difference on the field. For Harris, the path to college success looks promising, with Alabama emerging as a highly attractive and worthy option for careful consideration on his journey to the top of college sports. Good news for Bama in double dose. The world of Bama football has just added two new names to its list of potential rising talents, Jaron and Kenan Pola, twins who recently received offers from the Crimson Tide after impressing during a camp in Tuscaloosa. The news was announced on Friday when Tide coach Kalen DeBoer personally informed the brothers about the offers in his office. For Ken and Pola, the news was met with a mix of emotions. I was definitely excited, but also trying not to let that offer get to my head, he shared with Touchdown Alabama. I mean, not giving up and keeping my head down and just continuing to work on my craft. The brothers, both rated as potential four-star talents for the class of 2026 on various recruiting sites, have been targeted by several renowned universities, including Auburn, Ole Miss, Miami, and Tennessee, among others. Kennan, hailing from Tempu High School in Utah, is described as a smooth and deceptive runner, standing out for his ability to accelerate on routes and gain an advantage over the defense. Standing at six feet tall and weighing 190 pounds, his presence on the field poses a difficult threat to contain. During their visit to Tuscaloosa, the twins were impressed with what they saw. It was amazing, Kennan expressed about the experience. It was my first time there, didn't get to explore much with the campus recruiters, but I know they're great players and NFL prospects. Meanwhile, Jaron is recognized for his route precision and effectiveness after the reception. With notable skills to accelerate in open field, he offers valuable dynamics to any team. Standing at 6 feet tall and weighing 185 pounds, Jaron represents a multifaceted threat on the field of play. With Alabama's interest now firmly established, the next steps for the Pola Twins will surely be closely monitored by Alabama football enthusiasts. Another recruit now on Alabama's radar. Andrew Beard, a freshman from Prince Avenue Christian School in Georgia. After showcasing his skills during a camp in front of Crimson Tide coaches last Thursday, Beard had the privilege of receiving an admission offer to join the team. With 12 college football offers already on his resume, including proposals from renowned institutions like Georgia, Oklahoma, and Tennessee, Beard didn't hide his surprise upon being informed about Alabama's offer. I was totally disbelieving, shared Beard with Touchdown Alabama. I came to the camp just to showcase my talent, and to walk away from Alabama with an offer was totally shocking to me. Beard's impressive performance during the camp caught the attention of Alabama recruiters, while the university's hospitality, history, and facilities also left a strong impression on him. I loved it, said Beard, describing his experience. I spent most of the time in the state-of-the-art indoor training facilities, with a big field and extra space in the back. Besides the facilities being amazing, so are the people. I like how the coaches are always encouraging the players to perform their best. Having a historic history like Alabama's only adds to the greatness. Beard, standing at 5 feet 7 inches and 185 pounds, showcased his versatility by playing various positions during his high school career. From wide receiver to running back and defender, he made his mark in each role he played, standing out as a dynamic and valuable presence on the field. Will he indeed come to Crimson Tide? And what about the other recruits we mentioned? I want to see your comment. Comment.